In this video, shared by Dr. Daniel Lozada from Sao Paulo, Brazil, we will discuss the surgical technique for sublimiting hemorrhage due to Valsalva retinopathy. This is the case of a young woman who presented with sublimiting hemorrhage due to Valsalva retinopathy in her left eye. During the core vitrectomy, we can observe the presence of whitish material in the macular region, resulting from the catabolites of hemoglobin, which can potentially be toxic to the retina, justifying surgical treatment. Triamcinolone is used to stain the posterior hyaloid. Then, posterior hyaloid detachment is performed using the vitrector. Brilliant blue dye is then used to stain the internal limiting membrane. The internal limiting membrane peeling is performed using an Eckhart retinal forceps. Preoperative evaluation of these cases with optical coherence tomography is essential to determine the location of the preretinal hemorrhage. Vitrectomy is the treatment of choice for cases of Valsalva retinopathy with sub-ILM hemorrhage since blood reabsorption is generally slow and hemoglobin catabolites can be harmful to the retina, compromising the visual prognosis if a conservative approach is chosen. After completing the peeling, the blood from the macular region is aspirated with the vitrector. The surgeon then performs vitreous base shaving. The surgery is then completed with a fluid air exchange. An excellent anatomical and functional result can be observed in the postoperative period.